Good job, Murray. Hello, everybody. This is Pinstripe Paragon. Welcome back to some more we're Sly Cooper and the Phoebe Star Coopers. Today, we're heading into Mesa City. Oh, yeah! It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. So he's holed up in Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. All right, so Mesa City, because I uh, always forget the name of the mission. Uh, this, I don't know why. I just have some nostalgia for this sort of area. Hey, Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. All right, so let's just go on then. Oh my god, I freaking love this move. Like, that was just one of the moves that I remember so fondly from Slide 2. And the fact that we're now able to do that, you know, it's just... Oh, yes! But uh, there's 40 bottles in this level, and I will admit that I'm not a big fan of. That's a ton of bottles that you could easily miss. Uh, so... Gotta be careful about how I go about things. Ah, oh, dog! Get out of here. Um, that's right, there's some more bottles down here. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I feel really good with a horseshoe on my back. Seriously. Oh, yeah. Woo! Actually, I've already got a decent chunk of bottles. Maybe this level is much shorter than I remember. I don't know. It always seems like there's some levels that just seem shorter than how you remember them. Maybe you just know the level so well, or I don't know. But there's been like a lot of like platformers I've been watching people play through recently, and I'm just like, I remember that level being longer or shorter. It just depends. Yeah, really. Like some levels in uh, Bugs Life on the PS1, I remember some of those levels being much shorter. Then again, What's with those a lot of those are never 100%. The latest in high tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a godder. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Yeah, I never really 100%ed a lot of the levels in the Bugs Life, but at the same time, I just played that game so much as a kid. Um, I want to say my favorite level in that was probably Clover Forest. Maybe. I don't know. I never, I don't think I ever 100%ed that level. It's hard to remember. I might LP it one day. Who knows? It just depends on how I feel. Ah! Get out of here, freaking scrub. 
All right, more bottles. Halfway there. We're about halfway through the level as well. Like normally, I wouldn't use the bottles to say that because there was this one level where you could finish it like extremely quickly, but then not have like even close to the number of bottles that you need. So yeah, no, that kind of thing. Um. Oh yeah, I remember this. My God, I hate that stupid bottle. It is so freaking annoying if you don't remember it. Ah! Oh, thank God. I didn't want to lose a horseshoe there. Because even if I did, I still probably would have lost a life just trying to back. Get 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 back. Back to where you won't belong. Oh, yeah. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, a lot of the enemies around here are basically bulldogs. So, take that as you will. They are still pretty darn easy to defeat, so I wouldn't worry too much. Ah! Oh, yeah. Alright. Ah! I don't have a roll yet, do I? Yeah, I do. That's like one of the first things you get. Okay. I'll try and use that to my advantage. I'm not guaranteeing a thing. We'll just see what happens. And okay. Ah! Alright. Got right through that part. And we're almost at the end. Where the hell? What? Okay. Well, I mean, it, is this one of those where the thing is like way back there? Might be. Um, I really don't want to go through there yet. I missed a good number of bottles, huh? Well, that's awkward. I can't believe I missed one right there. So there's one that still leaves like three up. Oh my god, leaves three others. I'm searching. Oh, here they are. Am I blind or something? I mean, how did I miss these? Like, seriously. And the uh, vault is over there on this rope, so. I guess I was too focused on that horseshoe. Who knows? But, luckily, this level is basically done because we can have the vault competition. What is it, Bentley? Tell me. Three, one, four. All right. And we're still at 21%. That's where we're at the beginning of it. Huh. That's weird. Outstanding. You've uncovered what is it? Ron Cooper's patented explosive hat Explosive hat tech. Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Say what? Then use the triangle button again to Say detonate what? it. Better back off to a safe distance first. Yeah, that, that probably would be smart. Benley, you're definitely the brains of the operation. And I'll just meet you guys back at the end of the level, because we've seen you know, everything else. And I'm at the end of the level. Whoop-dee-doo, we got the key. And that means we can unlock the door that's right behind me. And then progress. To the hub world. Oh, yes. All right, let's get moving. Oh, it says mugshot. Well, cool. Because you know we're facing mugshot. Well, this mugshot uh, all is right. Try. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. All right, so I don't know what's up with these guys, but they're hella weird. Look at this. Ah, get out of here. At least these flashlight guards are much easier to take care of than in slide two and three. Well, at least once. 
better they seem. This what I think I mean. Okay. So I'm gonna just let Mugshot talk for a little bit, and then I'm gonna head into this level. Okay, in that case, let's head into Murray's Big Gamble. Now this level is kind of annoying, I will admit. Murray is in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. All right, so Murray is going to start out right here. This is sort of an on-rails kind of shooter. It, and I will admit, I am not a big fan of this level at all, or any of the levels like this. Um, mainly because they're inverted in weird ways. Like, left and right, it's normal. But then it's inverted up and down. So it's like, what the heck? But it's this isn't too bad once you're used to it, I guess. Uh, all right, one there, and I got him somehow. All right, wow. Yeah, take that. Okay, watch out. Do not hit that nuclear crap because that will not end well for Murray. And you can't hit Murray either because if you hit Murray, it's basically the same freaking thing. Oh yas. Oh god, this is tricky shot. Not that bad. Okay. I don't know what they're doing in Mesa City, but why is there so much nuclear garbage? Alright, where are you going, Murray? Looks like you got an enemy here. Nothing. Trick Tricky. Oh. Oh yas. Get out of here. Alright. Murray, where's the next enemy? Okay, so you're heading up here now. Oh, God, I, I, that was a headshot right there. Holy, s no. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, God, I almost shot Murray. That that would have been so bad. Because we are so close. Oh, I got him. Wow. All right. Ah! Oh, thank God, I thought I missed. And finally, got that key. And Murray does his little dance thing. He's like, whatever, I got the key. Huzzah, and I think I might have eaten it. Or eaten it, my bad. Uh, you know, I had to cut out like, maybe 10 seconds. But there is another mission that we can do that's relatively short, if I can find it. It is another Murray mission, so there's no bottles and whatnot. So that's part of the reason I'm going to attempt and at least find it. Uh, um... Because, like, I do want to move, like, you know, a little bit quickly. You know, just to keep things interesting. Um, I think it might be over this way. I certainly hope so. Get out of here. Seriously, bro. And this is it. At the dog track. This one is sort of a race. And we'll see plenty of, a couple of these throughout the game. Murray, what's going on down there? Well, I drove to this hot dog stand for a quick snack, and the next thing you know, I'm getting challenged to a race by these gangster dogs. Is there a key in it for the winner? Yeah, three times around the track for a key. It's all you, man. Drive the van with the left analog stick, and if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get them. I'm on it. All right. How do I, oh, can I, I need to restart that. I didn't know that you could just accelerate by just moving the control stick. But anyway, so I'm not a big fan of the racing mini game with Murray. I'm really not, mainly because I kind of suck at it. The, these turns just, it's not that good of a racing mini game. But hey, at least it's not little, I missed that one completely. I feel like a freaking scrub. 
but at least this isn't a little big planet carting. I mean, it it certainly had potential for me. I just couldn't get in there, so who knows? But we're certainly catching up now. I just can't keep screwing up. And we've already oh no! I'm still in fifth place. Now I'm in fourth place by hair. Ah, oh, you took my boost. Get out of here. Jeez. All right, I'm getting a little bit better at the controls. They're a little bit weird to get used to, at least for me. So, okay, keep going. Oh, yes. And, oh, God, I got to restart. Get back in there and bang them back. We need that key. All right, hopefully this will go better than my last attempt. Let's go. All right, I want to try and uh, get past at least the first car, fourth car, basically, um, by the end of this lap. I gotta keep going as much as I can. I can't stop for much. Take a little bit of some bad turns, but overall, I gotta, you know, turn wisely. And, uh, all right, so we're past the fourth car. Well, now fifth place car. And all right, we're basically tied for third place, and we're in third place. And I'm about to overtake third place completely. Thank God. And grab that. Yes. Yas. All right, get out of here you stupid dog oh yeah that's my boost i ain't got nothing on me Ugh. all right already in second place that's actually pretty good for being on the second lap oh yeah it's really good to use those boosts on those uh ledges you seem to get a lot more out of them so i kind of wasted boost there but hopefully I should be able to pass this guy. I'm already catching up. So, it's kind of one of those things where they get a really good head start, but then they just end up going slower throughout the entire thing. But, he's got some mariachi band in the back, and that's slowing him down because now we're in first place. Oh, yeah! Yas! Get out of here. Yeah, you know what? I can't finish with you on the screen, bro. I have to get out of here. Woo! Way to go, Murray. All right, so let's collect our key. We could have just done that the entire time? Well, either way, we now have the third key of this homeworld level already. And I'm going to end off the episode there. So thank you all for watching. Later days.